Hey guys, ECW Fan to Collector here, and this is the latest Comic Book Finds volume. Okay, now, thanks for that nice little intro. I thought I'd go ahead and show you these finds that came from Snoopers Mall. And I went there about two or three weeks ago, and I found a lot of good books. I was filling in runs of titles I needed to fill in, and I was shocked. I mean, like I said in the video, they had runs of adventure comics, action comics, Superman. I mean, this... This booth had a lot of good stuff, and the books were affordable. At half price, it was a dollar to fifty cents. And I walked in there, and I I started going through some of these books, and I had to cut so many away. I was like, because I would have had like 50, 50 issues. And I was like, no, no, I gotta cut some of this. So I put some books back, even though I could have got them. I was like, no, I'm just gonna go with the ones I really want to fill in runs of, and. For 50 cents, I got, to start this off at Snoopers Mall, I got a trade paperback of Spider-Man. Yeah, 50 cents of Miles Morales' Spider-Man. This is uh, volume two, and uh, this is issue six through 11. They didn't have the volume one trade paperback, but hey, you know, six issues of a, of a book for 50 cents, man. 50 cents, that is just incredible. And... It looks really good. Ryan Michael Bendis, you know, he... I think he was better at Marvel. Uh, his Superman ideas, you know, aging John Kennett. Not a big fan of that. Bendis had some good stuff at Marvel. He had Daredevil. He had, you know, Ultimate Spider-Man. And I think those two works by him was my favorite. Um, the team stuff he done, not so much. But uh, here... This collects issues 6 to 11. Yeah, six issues in this trade paperback for 50 cents. It's insane. Insane to the membrane. Insane to the brain. <laughs> now, moving on to another talented writer that I really like. And a lot of his work is stuff that I've picked up over the years. From Animal Man to Doom Patrol to JLA to X-Men. I'm talking about Grant Morrison, and one of the books that he really, really took it to a new level and that people need to pick up is Doom Patrol. And they had a run of Doom Patrol in that booth. I mean, they had issues in the 20s up to, like, 40s, and a lot I already had. So I was like, oh, crap. You know, I'm looking for holes in my run of Doom Patrol because I'm collecting all of the Grant Morrison issues. So I got issue 37. I got issues number 43, and yeah, Grant Morrison's Doom Patrol <laughs> was pretty wild. It was pretty wild. I mean, you had a painting that ate Paris. That should tell you what you need to know about Grant Morrison's Doom Patrol. Yeah. I had issues number 49, and this was a nice one. I love this cover. Yeah. But Morrison and Richard Case, they done some good work on Doom Patrol. I mean... It's really, it, this was the harbinger of Vertigo, and I miss Vertigo comics. I really do. Now we're going to go to the 80s. We're going back to the 80s, baby. Early 80s. And this is the happy first anniversary of the Supergirl title, and this is her new costume. Supergirl. Yeah, Supergirl 13. And I love the back cover. This is a 007 ad for some toy or something. Uh, yeah, this is the video game. Yeah, from Parker Brothers. The ad is more, you know... It's weird how video games have changed a lot. Look at that. Yeah. But yeah. Th these are half off, by the way. These were half off. <laughs> Those I just showed you were half off. Yeah. Insane. Insane that I felt these issues. You can't do that nowadays at times. And uh, Maybe at cons you could find somebody that's selling these issues 
super cheap. But, but we'll see. Hopefully, you know, we got plans to go to one, so hopefully we get to do it. And I'll find some more 50 cent and dollar issues to fill in holes in my run of Doom Patrol and Hellblazer. Now, Hellblazer wise, I only found one issue, and there's like 10 or 15 books there. And I was like, really? I can't find <laughs> I can't find any cheap issues to fill in Hellblazer. And it was issue 122 <laughs> of Hellblazer. That's the only one I needed. That's the only one I I was like, I kicked myself. I was like, man, I wish he had more Hellblazer if he because I need some in the 100s. I, I'm getting down to the point where I need just maybe 70 or 80 issues to fill the run in, and that'll be it. I picked up an Action Comics issue 562 of Action Comics. Yeah, like I said, that's half off. And he had a good run of Action Comics, but I have all those issues, and I was like, darn. You know, I was sitting there... You're kind of thinking, like, man, this would have been a great time to get these run of books, you know. And he had a, a run of Avengers. He had a run of Avengers in the 300s down to the higher 200s. And I was like, where was you back when I was, because, <laughs> you know, really collecting these books for the first time? And now we're going to go to the Adventure Comics. Here we go. I picked up Adventure Comics 457 with Superboy. This was one that I needed. This gives me all the, you know, get off this plan, Super Bowl. Earth is for Earthlings, not you. I got Adventure Comics number 454. Yep, half off. Fucking damn. I got Adventure Comics number 454. This is a nice cover. And I think this is all the adventure comics I need in the 450s. Uh, Superboy only showed up a few times in it before he... I think this was, you know, he, he bounced around a lot of different titles. His own title that he co-starred with the Legion. and Yeah, it was confusing. <laughs> well, and speaking of that, I got Superboy and the Legion of Superheroes number 223 with the Time Trapper. I love the Time Trapper, and I was so happy to get his first appearance. He's one of those villains that, you know, mess with time and Superboy and the Legion. So, yeah. And like I said, these were half off. These were half off issues. Um, I got Captain America 244. And he had a decent run of cap in the 300s, but I have those issues. And, yeah. I got Firestorm number 64, and the only reason I picked up this issue is he's facing the Suicide Squad, which I really want to read this battle, if this is a battle, you know. I was like, man, that's an interesting fight. Firestorm versus the Suicide Squad. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Good old Firestorm. <laughs> now we're going to talk to the big run of a title I picked up, and I got... Let's see, I got... Two, three, four. I got one, two, th three, four, five, six, six issues of this title that I could find in there. And it was the 80s, early 80s series of Superboy. It ran like 54 issues. So I've got some of the issues in there. So I got issue number 27. And I only I picked it up at this price at half off. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get I'm gonna look for this title. Complete complete that run. I got issue number 20. I need to get some bags and boards. I got issue number 19. I got issue number 16. I got issue number 15. And I got issue number 14. And the Zatara's in this one. I like that. I like that idea. They had some other issues, I think, but I already had them. Uh, I think it was the issues at the end, that, and I already got them. But yeah, this is nice. Well, not to be left out, I got an issue of Thor, by the way. Issue 296, which I don't have. 
Thor and Odin looking like they're going to fight each other. Yep. And on the back, you have a Star Trek model kit for those that's in the model kits. Now, the next books I picked up was five issues of Justice League of America in Volume 1. And this helps me fill in runs of Justice League that I made. Um, this fill, fill in issues that I'm... Because like I said, my long-range goal was a big run of Justice League of America. So this helped me. I got issue number 174. Issue 174. I picked up issue number 199, which was always a hole for me there, for weirdly. And like I said, you know, for the price I paid, <laughs> I'm not going to complain, man. This was this was a nice price. I got issues number 214 of Justice League of America. And he had a run of Justice League of America that went from the uh, 180s all the way up into the late, at near the end of the run. I mean, that was, that was just insane. And uh, I was like, man. It's, if he was wanting to build a run of books, this guy had, or this booth had it. Man or woman who runs this booth, I don't know. But they had it. I got issue number 215. The Adam on the cover. I like that. The bigger they are. And I got issue number 219. A Thunderbolt Berserk. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. That was a nice pickup of Justice League of America there. And like I said, it wasn't expensive either. I mean, I was like shocked at finding these. And it's not over, folks. So I left that booth, right? Or well, actually, I got one more book from that booth, and I'm gonna go ahead and show it. And this was this was uh, the this one was a dollar extra. This was so it was two dollars. So I got World's Finest 260, and he had a couple World's Finest I needed to get, and I'll get them next time. Hopefully, they're there. I gotta make another trip down. I gotta get that Doctor Who thing. Yeah. And there's like two or three issues of World's Finest I need. And I'll have a run of it for a good bit. So that was good. So now, I went to another booth. And uh, I picked up some good issues there. I picked up Green Lantern, number 144, which I needed. With the Tattoo Man. This is a nice one. I picked up a Marvel Team Up Annual I needed, and uh, this was the only this was a hole in the Marvel Team Up Annual. So I've got every annual except this issue that I noticed, and that was actually number three. This was number three. It is Marvel Team Up Annual from 1980. So I have like six or seven of these annuals now from this series. I picked up in a booth. I picked up. X Factor 23, which is the cameo of Archangel. And I, they just showed what they just did to Archangel, and it looks, I mean, it looks something like out of a horror film. I mean, I'm like, you know, I'm kind of interested in reading that, you know, where he's morphed more into a bird like figure, you know, and it looks like an evil, depraved bird. So I'm kind of interested in that. But at the time, his first big change was happening here, where he would become, um, what was it, Death? He would become death for uh, the apocalypse. Eddie would know. Uh, but yeah, this was uh, when he first starts to become that. And this was his cameo. And the final two things you, you saw me in the video. I actually picked this one up. It's Avengers number 378, which gives me all the issues. This actually gives me Avengers all the way back to uh, in the 180s to the end of the series. So basically, I have from uh, 180s all the way to the end of the series in this in this volume. And I think I need like five or six issues and I would go all the way back to the early 1970s of Avengers. So I'm going to look for those if we go to the con. Like I said, I like building runs. I like building big runs of books. Because I, I'm... I see myself more of as a library guy because I like I could pull out issues and like you know I could read the run of Stern's Amazing Spider-Man or I could read the run of Stern's Avengers, you know stuff like that or Frank Miller's Daredevil. So that's what I like. And finally, the most 
the really the only really big key, and you've seen it in the video, was Blue Beetle number four, the first post crisis appearance of the question of Vic Sage. And I I have issue five, and I was looking for four the whole time. I was like, man, I need to find four. And I finally found it in a booth uh, from that one. And he actually had the same issue, but, you know, for the same price, you know. For, I was like, okay, dollar booth, dollar there. So what's the difference? I might as well go ahead and get it from the other booth because I've done spread the love on this booth. So, <laughs> but yeah, this was nice. I like I like finding this. This was a nice little key. But yeah, that's my haul. I think 30 issues. 30 issues. Uh, really, uh, really one of the best hauls I've picked up at cheapest haul too at an antique shop. So, yeah. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you like and subscribe. Uh, drop your comments if you have any questions down at the bottom. And I want to thank you for watching. Till next time.